All right, so let's go ahead and pick up from the last video where we decided that we're going to completely redo the use management system as well as begin the power system manager. So here's use manager right here. We might as well double click and open it up. We're basically breaking up the use manager and all of its uh, tasks into multiple smaller systems. And the use manager is only going to be responsible for really doing our intersection test. So in this case, we have, of course, the different controls here. We have the door left and the light. Um, we're going to have to get rid of all these. And these are going to become individual scripts that themselves. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a public interface and we're going to call this usable. So this interface is going to require that anyone who implements it also implements a use function which we're going to have right here. So our other classes which are going to be uh, for the controls of the doors and the lights themselves are going to implement this interface. And then all that's gonna happen is during update, instead of calling, instead of doing all this checking right here, it's just going to find out whether or not the object has the, uh, the component that we want. So what we'll do then is call its use function. And really, it's possible the use function is gonna require more information than nothing. So it's probably a good for, idea for us to go ahead and uh, pass it in the intersection test itself. So what we should probably do is pass it the raycast hit. So let's do raycast hit. Another problem we have right now is the fact that the use manager is not a singleton, which will make it difficult. I could, for instance, pass the use manager into the use function, but why do that when I'm only going to have one use manager in this game? So what I should be doing is creating a singleton. So let's do a static or public static void um, not void, what am I doing? That's not a function call. It's going to be use manager instance. And the instance is going to have a public uh, getter. So it's just going to be get, that shouldn't be there. And it's going to be a private set. Okay, so now whenever we uh, want to grab the use manager for whatever reason, um, we don't have one yet, mind you, but it's, it's always good for managers to be easily accessible because you always find a reason why you should have grabbed it, such as deactivating the use manager. Maybe something we do, like the power manager, for instance, needs to tell the use manager, you can't actually function anymore because the game is actually over. So we could deactivate this or, or other features, maybe like a pause feature and so forth and so on. Uh, down here, and we've commented out all this checking. What we're gonna wanna do is the object that has been cast to. Since we're successful with this if check, we are going to do hit.collider.gameObject, and we're going to do a get component. And the component we're going to want to get is usable. So the idea here is that usable is going to end up being an interface for an object. So when we create another class that uses this interface, it will be of type usable at that point. Uh, or at least part of its type will be usable, and we will return that object. So let's go ahead now and save this out, probably, as a usable um, temp. Let's just call it temp is equal to that. Now that this has happened, we're going to want to call temp dot, excuse me, we need to check, right? So if temp does not equal null, which it will return if it's empty, we are then going to do temp.use. There's our lovely little function right there. Passing it the hit information. So let's now move on. Uh, well, actually what this means is all this information right now can go. So we can get rid of these. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, now we can start migrating our code into the individual scripts that we're gonna create. And hopefully what you see by using this method is instead of having everything inside of one manager, conveniently in one manager, we're going to have a proliferation of different scripts. We're going to have a light switch script. We're going to have uh, all these different scripts that are going to each be responsible for their own work. Um, so depending upon how you like to code things, you know, one, you end up with sort of a monolithically large uh, file. The other way, you end up with lots of smaller scripts all over the place. So let's start first with the light controller. Uh, that's the easiest one I think for us to work with. So inside of our scripts folder, let's go to right click, create C sharp script, and we'll just do um, light. How do I wanna, what, what, what kind of naming convention do I want here? Usable light. And what, we might as well go ahead and create the other file too. create C sharp script and usable 
um, what is this, uh, door control. So there's our light. So the light is going to be responsible for doing what? It is going to, of course, uh, the script needs to be attached to the light object. So there we go. So we can select each one. So there's a door control and there's, of course, a light control. What we have to deal with is this single button light control. So our, our setup here is very simple. We press it once. It's going to, we're going to attach our light script to this object. We press it once. The use manager is going to detect that we press it. It's going to detect that this is a use object. It's then going to send it a message to use, or excuse me, it's going to invoke its use method and all the state information for this light switch working properly is going to be embedded in that light script itself. This script will then execute. It will then say, I am either on or off. Therefore, I need to do the following. So let's implement that. Actually, let's just attach the usable light that is uh, light control, this one. So let's attach light control there and let's find the other light. So let's light switch, that's the other light switch. Let's put another usable light on this one. Now I'm putting the same script on both of these. It's up to you. You could create separate scripts for each one, but I'm hopefully going to make this code generic enough that it will have probably a public light attached to it. Or I could, for instance, um, put the light as a child of this object. There's all kinds of different things I could do to make an association between this script on this particular object and whatever light it's influencing. The easiest one we're probably gonna have is just creating a, uh, a public field for that. Let's do a public light, there we are. Uh, public light, um, let's call it light. We are going to override that parameter because it shouldn't exist for what we're doing. Now we're going to have to set this equal to whatever light it's associated with. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to come back in here. Uh, this particular object right here, there we are, is going to associate this light. So let's lock this down, select this light, and put it in there. Let's go to the other side now and do the same. Grab this object here. There it is. Unlock, lock. Uh-huh, and grab that light now and move it into there. And we should be good, unlock so I don't forget. Save things. And let's go back into our script now. And all we're gonna to wanna to do is take, yes, please reformat, is basically take the functionality that we had here and move it into the other script. Uh, this means we can, of course, now get rid of these parts. And we can get rid of the colliders as well. I'm gonna get rid of them. And what else do we want to do? Um, we want to take this part here and just gut that and bring it over here. So in the use function, which we have not yet uh, enforced usage of, that's I, I shouldn't use the term use when I'm or usage when I'm using use. So we have not yet implemented the use. So we want to put usable in here. Now we should get an error. No, it does not implement the interface. And this is exactly what an interface is all about. It's forcing us to stick to its convention. So let's show potential fixes and we want to implement this particular function. So it should go ahead and throw in our use right here. It gives us this throw no implement, uh, no, no imp not implemented so that we know in the future if we leave this here that we did not implement it properly or that we have not implemented it. So now that we have this object, we can go ahead and just paste this information. Instead of it being left light, we're just gonna do it that way. And now this will toggle whatever light we've associated with that object on and off. See how easy that was? Um, now at this time, there's no reason for us to have an update function. And by removing that update function, it will increase performance ever so slightly. So it's a good idea to do that. Come over here and save. Let's go ahead and start getting rid of things that we don't need anymore, like all of this junk right here. And then we'll remove the rest once we get to the doors as well. Let's go ahead and test this now in our scene. So if we come back into Unity and uh, there we go, save. Let's hit run mode, check any warnings. So no errors. It is saying a referenced behavior is missing. So we do have a couple. So we do have a couple warnings over here with the power manager. And that's because we don't currently have a power manager associated with it, but for some reason I have a missing script. So let's actually go ahead and hit run come into the game view. Uh, let's rotate our camera. What? There we go, game. And let's press these buttons. So let's clear that out. So which one are we pressing? It's actually very difficult. So we can see just right here, what's going on that light is turning on and off in the scene. If we come over here, uh, double up our view, something like that, 
and we press this button down here, we can see that light turning on and off. Let's go ahead and rotate our view to the other side and click, 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 click. See how easy that was? Very simple to implement this. So now we're gonna do the same thing for the doors.